This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. You are standing in an area adjacent to a location. It looks like a giant great piece of shit with a stick sticking at the top with a number three on it. What do you do? What do you do? Like, a, like dried out and sat in the yeah, sun for a very it's, long it, time. It's, yeah, <laughs> giant white yeah. dog poop. Hey, yep. uh, I, I, I was on, uh, <laughs> you know, I was on Omegle a while back. You guys Omegle. know Omegle. Yeah. Dang. Dang, yeah. eh? <laughs> but, and, uh, you know, I was like, I usually go out there to see what the fuss is all about, you know, back in the old days. Anyway. Chatterbait, but it thinks it's legit. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know, I wasn't on the video one. Because uh -huh. I could pretend to be whoever I wanted. And I pretended to be a 24-year-old uh, tattoo artist uh, named Lars. <laughs> Lars. <laughs> Lars. As one does. It was, uh, it was great. I made a couple friends. We made some real connections, but they weren't real. They weren't real connections at all. <laughs> made, made some fake connections. Made some fake connections. connections. But I gave people mm. life advice as Lars. And you know what? Uh, you know... Uh, nobody wants to hear from me. You know? I don't know. Even yeah, my kids depends. don't want to hear from me. Nobody wants to hear from... Nobody wants advice from me. I'm a schmo. <laughs> so what'd you tell them? Like, always hold out for something better. I was like, uh, yeah, guy, you always need to chase the stars and the moon. And you always need to, uh, you know, keep your friends close. And you know that stuff about keeping your enemies close? Don't do it, man. It's not worth it, you know. Those guys will those guys will stab you in the back. Anyway, follow your friends. I mean dreams. Follow, I mean follow oh, your shit. Follow <laughs> your dream friends, man. Anyway, dream friends. Lars was not wise or real, <laughs> but that's okay. You know. So I I. I don't think you are quite right that people don't want advice from you, Matt. Um, I mean, one, Gloria Titian. But also, I Fair. think, like, as people who make video games for a living, like, um, there is at least a certain subset um, of the public that uh, is very interested in sort of learning how to build the skills necessary to... Um, do what you do or have done. I mean, Jesus, that's like the whole premise of your job, isn't it, right now? Yes, I'm literally a teacher right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody listens to me, though. Well, I mean, that is... That is no, the they do. Of, They're, of my, professing. My, my current students are great. I love them. They're awesome. None of them watch the show, thank God. <laughs> is that because they don't know it exists or because it's I lame? Didn't, I, I mean, didn't... both are valid answers. <laughs> I didn't tell them about it. Okay. but What if they it's... should be given some sort of anonymous tip? Well, that would be fine. Here, here's the thing. They can find it if they want. I, I don't really care. I'm not going to tell them till after they graduate. Also, it's not <laughs> hard. It's not hard to find the show. You simply Google no. my name. Steal you. You know, stab him in the fucking throat. I'm done with this guy. I'm done. <laughs> we attempted to last time and it didn't work. I so. know. I just, you know. He's making me mad, you know? Yeah, you know? Yeah, we could just he's board a, up his windows, you know? He's uh, pissing me off. He's uh, pissing me off. I, you know? <laughs> he's just pissing me off, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we got some. Uh, so, oh, by the way, uh, uh, Lewis and, uh, and Alex are. Um, I'm just going to go and say it. No shows today. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was going to give them it's an true. excuse, but they just they just didn't. They weren't. No, there's nothing. Yeah. So they're just playing not hee -haw here. with the fuck around gang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, to be fair, my uh, reminder to everyone came only maybe half an hour to an hour early, you know, before recording. Yeah. Um, But like. God, if I just came here and waited for Matt to call, like, what would happen every week? I probably would have called. Yeah, you probably would have. I would have. 
today anyway. Yeah. yeah. I didn't last week because it was, uh, you know, Canada Day or some shit. It was Canada Day. You know, uh, Canada Day this year was fucked and weird and... I'm not gonna get into it because I don't want to bring the room down, but it's it was it was fucked, and I think uh, you know I think uh, it's still not an excuse for me not to be there, and I I apologize everybody that we missed it last week, but uh, uh, you know we're here now, and uh, yep. Sierra Saturday crew or the original the OG crew we're here. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know we we don't include. Gold Rush of the first two King's Quests in OG, uh, you know, Sierra Saturday. I think if it was just Matt and me, like, we would probably call it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, maybe. Uh, we, we need, we at least need Andrew. At yeah. least. At the very least. At the to, very, To very level least. us out. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna read a book. Which book do you want to read? Fuck. Which book? Which book? Which book? Uh, let's go with. Uh, let's start with Hero Magazine. Yeah. When you scan through Hero, the Journal of General Job Adjusting, you find quite a bit of information that might be useful here. There are a series of articles about the land of. Whoa! The town, the town originally grew up around Castle Borgov. The Borgovs were the boyars, or local noblemen, assigned the role of guarding the area from invaders. The chapter on fauna describes a number of interesting creatures. The Necrotor is a vicious carnivore with big, sharp teeth. Some of the other monsters sound even more horrific. In the forest lives the Lishi, a creature known for playing practical jokes on travelers and playing riddle games, but which can also be helpful to those it likes. I enjoy riddle games. Learn about the Rosalka, <coughs> the spirit of a murdered, unmarried woman. Such spirits are said to inhabit lakes and rivers. They try to avenge themselves by drowning any man foolish enough to approach. So this isn't necessarily virgins, you just unmarried. Really by reading this magazine That's right. thoroughly, instead of just browsing through it. Isn't it nice that we included a complete copy in your game box? Smiley face. Smiley face at the end there, too. <laughs> Remember when smiley faces used to have noses? God. Man. Oh, yeah. Those were the days. <laughs> The book turns out to be an advertising brochure. It says, I, Dr. Cranium, predict that someday one of my descendants will become the subject of a major computer game. The Castle of Dr. Brain from Sierra Online. Jeez, how cheesy can you get? That was some JRD improv, that last line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. The book is all about using spells in unusual and creative ways, such as calming a fire, using alternate flame and frost spells to make something brittle and break, and so on. We pick up a number of useful tips which will improve your spell casting. Yay, hmm. magic stat increase. Nice. This book teaches you how to use the stair stepper to build strong leg muscles and talks about the importance of whole body development. It says to build up your strength gradually by adding weights to the baskets. Right, you don't want to do that all at once. Yeah. You know? This book teaches the ancient oriental art of talk fool. How to overcome opponents by attacking them with the unpronounceable names of martial arts forms and confusing them with fortune cookie wisdom. You get lost somewhere between karate and kuksuru. Excellent pronunciation there. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, pretty decent. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this isn't a lending library. Oh, okay. I wonder if our strength is high enough to get this sword finally. You break open the hey. front of the cake. Hey. Avoiding the broken <laughs> glass, you pull out the sword. It looks like a fine quality weapon. Finally, a <laughs> good sword. Vandalism. Hey, vandalism! I like a good vandalism. We got our upgraded sword. That's great news. It's a fine sword. It's fine. It's fine. It's high quality, well balanced. It and comes from the urgent care section of the adventure still. That's great. Good for us. Good good stuff. Are Better we gonna for fighting with 
So you got to you got to come in here and build up your strength until you can get the sword. I mean, yeah, basically, it, okay. if we're if our strength was, I think, maxed out, like, let's see what it is, right? Oh. It's too dangerous to use magic in town <clears throat> during the day. The townspeople are very suspicious of magic users. I always click this icon instead of this. Icon. Like, I figured there, I figured there must be a better or must have been a better icon than this for like general actions. I, I agree. But. Uh, so our strength is 283. Um, after Quest for Glory 3, I think our max... I think it adds 100 to the max every time. So okay. if we started maxed out, then we would have a... We would have been able to get the sword right away, but we didn't. That's okay. Hey, we got it now, and that's all that matters. It's hey. okay. Hey! 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 One time I pretended to be a 24-year-old uh, tattoo artist named Monique from Montreal. So, so the 24 the 24-year-old tattoo artist is kind of the thing, is it? I think one lives in my soul. Mm. I think I've got that in. I think I've got that in me. You know, I think there's a tiny one that, that speaks in cliches. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. It's it's amazing. Uh, I didn't get a lot of... Uh, when I was Lars, not a lot of people wanted to talk to me. Mm -hmm. When I was Monique, that was a different story. All of a sudden, everybody was like, oh, hey. Oh, hi. And I'm like, hey. There's a reason I don't have my video on. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have like bothered them all with trying to get them to come to the roller derby you were organizing. Hey, look, I'm... I'm organizing a roller derby. My name is Fatality, and it's my roller derby name. Hello. <laughs> and uh... the bush looks a little strange, almost as though it is sitting rather than growing in its place. I apologize to anybody whose real Kill it with roller fire. derby name is uh, Fatality. It's a good one, and I'm Hello. goodbye. <laughs> um. Why is he reading this? I don't know. They just don't have you, John Rhys Davies reading this one. You, you hear a giggle. A reading, writing, riddling game. Can you tell me what's my name? These are leashies. Sure are. I tell the creature it's called the leashy. Ah, that's the price of too much fame. Oh, now Jesus. Gone and my name. This is not I was I expecting, and I don't like it at all. <laughs> we should have lit a match and just threw it. Leashy, leashy, look and see in a bush or up a tree. Leashy, leashy, riddle rhyme. Can you solve them every time? Black lips are not in right now. Look at that. They look he's like cor uh, they, they're corpse lips. He's a goth. What you gonna do? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. I'm really upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, upsetting lips is kind of a thing in this game. It is, it is, and I kind of respect it, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> Somebody really went all in with upsetting lips <laughs> when designing the, uh, or when, when doing art direction for the game. You know? Yeah, upsetting lips, it's a it's a thing in this game. I'm not sure if it was specifically one of the Coles or if they had an art director who was just like, you know what, fuck lips. Yeah. I want is... everyone to hate lips as much as I do. <laughs> You know what I really hate? Lips. I know what to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this. Oh my God! Everyone's curse. A little bird in his head, though, eh? Something yeah. else. Oh, that's something else. Oops. Hi there. That bird in his head is something else. That's something else. <laughs> Among the watery I know this one. Squishy riddles make. Tell me now who's in the lake. I know this one still. We met her. How come what you didn't give me a chance? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's guess Risulka. Yeah, good call. One and two and three make six. Who hides her hut behind trick sticks? 
magic message. Bush is here in the rhyme with disappear. Uh, I don't know. I don't know this one. I'm out. No one seems to be. No one. Interesting. He just gave us a clue as to how to find a hidden area here in the, in the forest. Nice. Trying to make use of. Yeah. At least she's actually kind of helpful in the game here because I didn't mind him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, except his lips, right? You know. Yeah, um, I, I'm starting. To, his lips were starting to grow on me. You know. Were they? In the best way possible. Oh yeah. <laughs> that must have been painful. It was. <laughs> it was. It was not good. Uh. Okay. Let's see here. Um, oh Jesus! This could go poorly. I'm just gonna save. Oh, here. what is this thing? <laughs> Necro babes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm glad everybody liked that. <laughs> I don't think everybody liked that, but I'm glad everybody who commented liked that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We might, we're gonna have some questions for Glory, right? Must have. We must have. I don't think we finished all of them, so. Okay. Must have. Must have. Whoa. This fucking thing, man. Alright, this thing's kind of awesome. Force it back with some force bolts, cast some fire bolts. This would be good magic practice. It can't hit you if it's across the screen. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Nice job. You find nothing of value unless you were planning to start a flea circus. Good one. Well, actually, I shall. That sounds like a delightful way to make a little bit of money. A charlatan that like myself can make a good buck from a flea circus. <laughs> <laughs> These bushes look as though someone planted them here deliberately. They look like that. Say the magic phrase we learned for the leashy. <laughs> as you repeat the magic phrase you learned from the leashy. The bushes on the west spring apart as if by magic. We yeah, we've got a few. Oh, that's right. It is magic. We've got a few questions for Glory. Do we want to do you want to hit one before we uh end the episode? <sighs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Not even. Not these even. these poor poor people wait months for their questions to be asked at this point. Hey, look. We are doing the Minimum we can. <laughs> We're doing the bare minimum. I was going to say We're baseline, updating but that's minimum. Sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay, Idris, here's here's one. Okay, okay. Let's have Question it. for glory. If Love Tim it. Allen were to have a comeback movie, something to get him an Oscar, what would that movie be? Hmm. Okay, I got it. okay. So what it is, it is it is a a a uh, continuation of Home Improvement, uh, <laughs> and it's a it's a dramatic film called Heart Improvement, uh, and it's about uh, Tim uh, starts his... off divorced and a garbage man. <laughs> yes, he does. He's struggling with alcohol addiction and pill addiction. Uh, and uh, he's estranged from his sons. Uh, but his uh, youngest son, whatever the fuck his name was, is getting married. <laughs> what is the youngest kid's name? I don't even know. He was the he was the one that everybody forgets. He had the little mushroom cut. Anyway, uh, he's getting married for the the, the yeah, yeah. Tim Allen is the tool man. It's called yeah tool yeah yeah. Hard tool improvement, man. the tool man. Hard improvement. <laughs> Hard improvement, <laughs> I mean. Anyway, yeah. 
There's the, it, there'd be lots of scenes of him like crying and drinking booze and sitting in his apartment. And although I believe if the movie ha- if the the title of the movie has uh, heart in it, I believe there's a contractual obligation to have Jean Claude Van Damme in it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Hard he improvement. Put- <laughs> it turns out that Wilson was Jean Claude Van, Van Damme the whole along. time. Yeah. Hiding out, yeah. But Wilson's also dead, and also like, uh, so is his friend. <laughs> so it's just a corpse. It's just John Claude Van Damme <laughs> splayed out on the ground, dead. Remember, no. his life. His life cannot resemble anything that the sitcom was. Right, right. You know, it's a whole thing. Uh, and now, uh, now that uh, this is a timely thing, I'm bringing up. Uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas was uh, recently spotted in L.A. after years of not being seen. (laughs) (laughs) Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Hollywood cryptid. (laughs) Hollywood cryptid. Anyway, he's back. I think, you know, we're in for a treat is all I'm saying. (laughs) Good old T.T. Still don't remember the youngest kid's name. Yeah, uh, it was like it was like uh, Slayson. <laughs> Slayson. There Prob- you go. Probably. Hard improvement. The Tool Man. Slayson's revenge. Slayson's revenge. Okay, I'm I'm looking this up because uh, someone's gonna put it in the comments, and I'm gonna be like, That's true. "Let's see if they can beat uh, us to it." It's thanks Mark. for watching, everybody. We'll you'll get the name next week, unless that was it. No, that was it. Or next I ruined episode. it. Next episode. Oh well, shit. Right. Because I, everybody, everybody okay. remembers be next week anyway. Everybody remembers Randy and Brad, right? <laughs> Randy, and <Brad>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but nobody remembers. I, the... I'm not sure if those were actually the characters' names. I remember kind of what they looked like. Yeah, you know, yeah. Brad was the big dumb idiot, the oldest kid. The... Mm-hmm. And and Jonathan Taylor Thomas played uh Randy who Randall Ran Rando, Randy. Anyway, yeah, he's fucking yeah. They're both they're fine. What are, what are, what are, what are, these guys are dead. Anyway, Randy don't worry Brad about it. And Slayson, <laughs> Just Slayson, Mark. Mark, Mark, Mark was Slayson. the youngest son. Oh yeah, that's okay. That's well, you know. That's fine. Hey, is the guy who played Wilson dead? Let's find out. No? Oh, yes! <laughs> I don't think so. Tim. Oh, my, yes! <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Oh, my, yes, yes. Uh, Earl Hindman uh, passed away in 2003. Uh, wow. Long time ago, too. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to get uh, fucking uh, Jean-Claude, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Van Damme. Yeah. To just be a corpse. Yeah. He could be uh, Wilson Jr. Wilson, <laughs> Wilson, Jr., Jr., Jr. Anyway, yeah, it's good, man. I like it. Anyway, yeah, uh, instead uh, a little of bit just of... having his his the top of his head poking up over the top of the fence, he's just doing the splits on the fence perpetually. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's because Tim he's Allen. also contractually ovulated to do the splits at least once in anything he appears in, right? Contractually ovulated. Oh yeah, <laughs> hard hard improvement. Contractual <laughs> <Contractually ovulated>. ovulation. <laughs> Okay, right. this is this is still the first episode, right? We're gonna get it out is, of here. It now. is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Bye, great. everyone. See you Bye. next time. Bye. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know with you. Sometimes you're just like, <laughs> yeah, this is the second episode. <laughs> I found a great picture that would make a we... great sort of splash outro for this episode. Let's so... have it. <laughs> get the link here. What? <laughs> I'm keeping link. this part in too. <laughs> <laughs> This is the kind of show we run here. Yeah, level zero. You know, you mm-hmm. want competence. Look for someone better, which there are many. <laughs> There's so many. If but they're you also... came here for the video game, you knew to stop about halfway through. There's so many people who play video games better than us, guys. You know, you're here for the yeah. banter. <laughs> or so we assert. Or God, I hope so. I don't know why you're here otherwise. <laughs> All right, I let's mean, take... yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so I can't react. Oh my cause... god! But, okay, you know, no, you gotta. Get there. Ah, look at those shirts. 
<laughs> Fuck, that makes me angry. All right, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye for real. Oh, look at his hair.